There's literally no turning back. I'm here at the fueling station. There's 30 miles in the tank, which means there's a little bit over one gallon, probably. I'm about to put all five quarts of used, used 5W40. So it's just like I would have changed the oil and poured it directly in here. It's the perfect cycle of life, recycling. So I topped it all the way off. Got it right here, the mobile one. Flip the camera around so you can see it. All right, folks, I've been getting it up to temperature, taking it around the block. You see the fuel lights on. It says 30 miles to empty. It's a peppy little car, stage two. Here at the fueling station, about to fix her up. Should I do it? Definitely all the way topped off, and you can see the authenticity of the used fluid. Let's see how well we can get this thing poured in because that funnel. You see that? That's just asking to come out. We gotta go kind of slow. Oh yeah, it's real oil, my friends. It's not watered down. I can get any reactions. People looking at me like I'm crazy. This is the hood, bro. This stuff don't. I mean, you might see this on the regular. Who knows? Nobody come bother me yet. It's almost in there. Five quarts of used 540. Now we're gonna put the fuel in because I don't think it'd be so happy if I tried to start it up right now. Wasn't it easier when we didn't have to put the stinking card in there or we'll wait on it? I don't want to put the green one in. We're going to go 93. We're about to fill it all the way up. Mixing that oil nice and churning it up in that tank. What do you think is going to happen? Is it going to run smooth? We're only about halfway. There we go. Ready for it.
Gotta do the shake and the jiggle. Man, do I even want that funnel? I don't even know. I don't even want that funnel. I'm gonna buy a new one. I'm gonna get enough views on this video to where I can buy a new funnel. And a new old bottle. Well, now I'm gonna keep the bottle. Does that make me a hoarder? Those bottles are nice, man. They got five quarts. All right, about to start it up. What's gonna happen? It's gonna take a minute. I'm just gonna drive off. Initial reaction and turn the heater off. So far, so good. No, no difference. So far, so perfectly good. Hammer on it right here. Now let me see if. smoke coming hammering on it now watch this Everything seems perfectly fine so far. I just took it uh, one block down the road and pulled over just to just to get enough to where I was sure that some fuel's mixing. So far, everything's perfectly fine. We're gonna figure out if we can get her to stutter though. This might be this might be a perfect recycling method because I don't see. I don't see anything wrong with that exhaust. I mean, I care about the environment more than the next guy, and if you've got a catalytic converter, you might as well put it to work. All right. Stuck behind a Hyundai. doing good we got power we got upper cylinder lubrication uh oh there we go we're running bad we're running real bad we're getting misfires hope I don't stall I gotta get going so happy anymore I'm about to head home whoa uh oh yeah yeah my engine it's it's uh, not happy at all we heading straight home I don't want to have to get a uber you're on the ride with me though you co-piloting we not trying to get I was going fast so some stupid S10s behind me trying to be stupid but yeah get on with yourself okay we, we mostly doing okay we mostly doing okay but if you think about it that's about a 15 to 1 ratio and uh, a, a pretty rich ratio for two stroke engines is 32 to one. So we rich boy in oil, 
We oil rich. Uh oh. No power. Oh. Whoa. You see those? Those RPMs are bouncing. Sketchy. Let's get this rig home. I mean, it's still running on all four. It's just it in and out, it gets real choppy. All right, I'm gonna, this is one of my really close streets to my house. I'm gonna go the speed limit on it. Slower than normal, but it went through. Uh oh. Got an EPC light. Well, to tell you the complete truth, it had already had an EPC light before that would come on once you uh, hammer on it. And like I told you, we're going to get that taken care of in a future video this thing's big time back burner um this is a uh, this is one of the cars that i'm going to use for the channel to do all kinds of things with but so i'm going to cycle the key real quick to get rid of that uh limp mode because that'll go away right away w real quick on the i'll go ahead and put this if people are really watching this much of this video i'll go ahead and give you what's going on um I've tortured this car for over three years. Um, I, uh, for the fun of it, I wanted to see if it could pull um, over 13,000 pounds. So I put my trailer with my skid steer and attachments um, all together at one time. And uh, ever since then, my transmission has not been so happy with me. So I think there might be a limit on the tow capacity and it's probably, it's probably somewhere over 10,000 pounds you probably shouldn't tow with this four cylinder. So anyway, back to we're really close to home now so now we can we can be a lot more easy like uh if i break down i'm not so worried about the walk home is what i'm trying to say all right i'm gonna turn the ac back on because we're getting foggy gas station up here I'm about to pull over and we're gonna see what the exhaust looks like and then I'm gonna rev it in neutral and see if it chops out at all in neutral uh, too many people at this gas station Sounds good. Okay, Let's check out that exhaust. First, time for the neutral rev. Guess the bumper's off right now. I had a hitch on this. 
it looks pretty normal. I don't see anything in person. It's a little bit cold, so you're gonna get a little, now, it might just be ever so slightly, like, every once in a while I feel an extra puff that shouldn't happen. But, she running good. Buddy, I'm getting ready to be pretty busy here soon. I can't get too in depth on what all's going on. You'll have to just check it out on video by video basis. But this particular car, I've owned it for probably over three years, 2009. Now, uh, I haven't necessarily been at all messing with the balance shafts, so I don't know if it's the oil pump or the balance shaft or whatever, but I've got two different cars right now at the moment that I've got sporadic, very, very rare oil pressure issues. Now this one came up uh, and gave me a pretty consistent oil pressure issue pretty recently, and that's why I parked it. But it also has another issue going on with it. I can't, I probably shouldn't even bring it up right now. We'll just talk about that later. But it'll make for good video content. But anyway, I gotta take the engine out, take it apart, inspect it, figure out why I'm getting a sporadic oil pressure issue because oil pressure is good right now. I did a cold start. It's been sitting for a long time. Actually, it is stage two, uh, KO3 factory turbo. Uh, the oil pressure light, whenever it came on more consistently this time, see, last couple times it was just oil light, oil light, whatever, turn it off, cycle the key, it went off, stayed off for months. This time, cycle the key multiple times, it comes on every single time. Now the engine, I, I have a keen sense of what the engine is supposed to sound like, and anytime there's an oil pressure issue, I make sure that it sounds like it's got oil pressure. And I also take the oil filter off, and I take a look at what the oil looks like uh, inside there, inside that cavity if it has any metallic flake or whatnot. Those two things make me feel better or worse depending on what I find. But I've also got an oil pressure. Anyway, I'm getting too far off track. That was just to explain that the engine's gotta come out on this. So before the engine comes out on this one, I'm going to give a gift to my subscribers. We're going to experiment with pouring four possibly five quarts of oil in the fuel tank. Now, I searched, I scoured YouTube, and I didn't see one real video. There's people putting oil in diesels, trying to convert them uh, with sugar and things like that. There was a fake video of a guy saying that he's putting oil in his gas tank, but it was obviously just diluted gasoline that had a little bit of black in it. I'm actually going to put concentrated oil, a jug of it, in this car at the fuel tank. And I'm gonna drive to the fuel pump and do it so I can equally distribute it better. And we're all gonna figure out how bad the consequences will be and it will be fun, right? Ah. Well, I'm gonna enjoy it, so I hope you enjoy it too. If you enjoy it, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. I'm trying to come up with more and unique things and I can't waste money and destroy things which this possibly could destroy. Tell me in the comments what you think it possibly could destroy. I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna, I like, I like participation, all right? Let's, let's proceed.